So you may have heard there's going to be a weak La Nina, or at least that's the growing possibility for us this winter. So what does that mean for us in Colorado? What does that mean for Denver snow? I sat down and crunched the numbers. I'll show you what that might mean for us here this upcoming winter. The first of all, what is a La Nina? La Nina, simply a reference to cooler than average sea surface temperatures across the central Pacific. But the Pacific Ocean is a huge body of water. And so when it's cooler than average across the Pacific has a downwind effect of all sorts of global weather. First of all, it tends to mean that we get an area of low pressure that forms south of Hawaii. And because all weather kind of has to balance out, that means there's an inverse area of high pressure off the west coast of the United States. That, in turn, forces the jet stream to go up and over it, and often means a lot of little colder pushes for us across the northern and central U.S., and a wetter than average winter for us across the northwestern United States. Now, geographically, Colorado smack dab in the middle of the North American continent, and the result is that we often can get a little bit of a mixed bag of weather for us here in Colorado. It tends to favor our northern mountains with heavier snow, but the impacts tend to vary pretty widely by year. But the bad news is that southern Colorado often gets shut out from La Nina winters. Front range snow, very hit or miss, but I actually crunched the number. This is likely going to be a weak La Nina. And a weak La Nina has a strong trend for Denver snowfall. Denver snow tends to be really bad when we have a weak La Nina. Now, this is based off of six weak La Ninas within the last 45 years. But Denver has had two of its worst snow seasons on record with a weak La Nina. Most recently, 2017, that was a really rough winter. Uh, statewide snowpack, though, tends to actually go up just a little bit. So with a weak La Nina, not a great correlation. It's right around average, slightly above for our southern mountains. Little bit more ebb and flow for us in the mountains. But there's a pretty notable trend here with the winter for Denver snowfall, which tends to be on the lower side of average with a weak La Nina. So a weak La Nina equates to a more of a brutal winter? A weak La Nina tends to mean for us across the mountains, there's a bit of a trend here to slightly above average snowfall for us in the mountains. In Denver, snowfall goes down. If we want to get into specifics of it, we tend to see a lot of Northwest flow. And in fact, I'm gonna go back to one of these graphics here and show you why. Uh, so I gotta skip ahead here a little bit here. So we get this area high pressure. Then you get the jet stream and notice how it kind of cuts across Colorado like this. We tend to get Northwest flow. That's a down sloping wind for us in the Denver area. And that's why it tends to shut off our snow here specifically in the Denver area. Uh, some okay. good news, some bad news I there. guess, I guess yes. depending on where you live. Yeah, I it depends know. on what you get. And of course, this is a broad picture thing here, right? That can vary quite a bit. All right, Chris Bianchi, thank you.